Welcome builders, Andy is Yodi here and welcome back to episode 2 of Sarkrenis City, a city which we've done a little bit of planning in. By the way, here you can see it's still on a flat map. So, the task for episode 2 was to move it onto a real world, a world that you're now going to be able to download. Download it by becoming a YouTube channel member or a Patreon and you could carry on the city as it is at the end of today's episode. You could carry on building it in the manner you see fit, Java edition only. Okay, so here I have uh, lifted away the top of the rich district. All these houses here are very rich houses, which we'll build, start building actually later on in this episode. And what we've done is made this big trench down here as well. And this trench is going to be, um, well, at the bottom of it is going to be a tunnel and it's going to be filled with water. And that is going to be the sewer system for the rich people. Then eventually the water is going to come out another underground tunnel, probably to about here. And then what we want to do is have all the poop <laughs> with some water from here flowing into the tunnel, uh, flush all the way down this way, all the way down this way and come out here. And we're going to have two more sewer tunnels as well. So what we're doing here is just, again, moving away the whole. Let me just clear that. So this is the sewerage so far, comes down here, comes down here, comes out to here. And then what we want to do here is build another trench deep underground, leaving room for basements if we want to have basements as well. So let's let that uh, trench appear. We're using world edit here to, to make the trench. There it is, you can see it there. So that's gonna be another sewer here. So the water is gonna flow in this direction, always downhill, down to kind of a lower, spot and then the trench is going to come along here and that's another sewer so if you've got a house here all you need to do is make a tunnel down there underground to get your poop to flow into the tunnel and it's going to come down here and this way and it's going to come across here we'll build another tunnel across there and then it's going to go in that direction and eventually all the poop will come to a massive get poop gathering point right about here where it can pass down maybe into some farms, into some reed beds and get recycled as well. This is an eco-friendly city with an amazing underground <laughs> sewerage poop get rid of system. I absolutely uh, love doing this kind of engineering. We also have some separate tunnels to take um, water from here down uh, through separate tunnels to get to our lakes as well. So these are separate tunnels. Let me show you where these all are. So I'm going to take you on a nice tour of the sewer system. We'll go down actually into the passages and I'll show you how it all kind of hooks up together. It's a bit of a maze down there, but it all does just work. But before we do that, let's get the outer wall of the business district. So that circle you can see there enclosed by this new wall is where all the workshops and production and businesses and taverns and blacksmiths and all that are going to be uh, but they need a wall a nice defensive wall shout out to Ertz who's done a lot of work um, aesthetically on some of the more organic parts of the map and he's building this pond over here so one pond is going to get done uh, in this episode and we'll do more of these kind of lakes or ponds in future episodes so thank you for building these trees actually from scratch that's not at all easy. You can see we've got some little benches there and some nice foliage in the water as well. Now, my idea was to build some nice spikes sticking out the wall here, but it didn't really work very well, which is quite annoying, actually. Um, and we decided to scrap the spikes idea. This is going to be sort of defensive spikes with towers on top. Do you know what? They kind of look okay as we built them like that. But as soon as we started to get involved with stairs and things, we had some world edit malfunctions. So we scrapped the spikes idea and went for more of a traditional kind of round approach and spaced these out every, I think every 30 degrees or so on. We spaced these out. We're going to remove the one in the middle. Added a nice tower on top. Shout out to Kurt HD 
Sarasvin and all the other builders that were helping us show the building board uh, at the end of the episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're a YouTube channel member or a Patreon, you can come and build with me in live streams. And I'm live streaming every single day, just about, on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Andy is Yoda. So we've got an inner wall for the rich district, an outer wall around the business district. Probably more circular walls coming up, but now we're actually thinking about building the rich people's houses. Now I thought maybe some rich materials like uh, quartz would be quite good, but then we kind of abandoned that idea, went for more of a traditional fantasy medieval feel, and that is where we've got to so far. So it's time to get our boots on the ground and to so this is where place. we've got to so far it's actually on a real world it's on an island which you can download if you're a patreon or a youtube channel member it is ready to go uh, what i'm going to do is just reduce my render distance and then we're going to go on a little tour underground and see all the sewers okay render distance is down i'm also going pretty slowly there we go so we've got good frames per second. It's good viewing experience for you guys. So first of all, how does the water get to the lakes, the lakes down there? So the lakes, what we do, some of this we've had to do off camera. You come down here, water flows down here, and it flows into these amazing tunnels. So thank you to everyone who built the tunnels. Like it was Ertz and Saraswin. So this tunnel goes in this direction. And as long as you aren't bumping your head off the lights, then eventually you get to that lake. And there are similar similar tunnels, one there and one there <laughs> for the lakes. So how does the sewer system work? You want to see the poop. I know you want to see the poop. So here, there's a little bit of a hole here where some of the water from the aqueduct can flow down into our sewer. And you can see it's really far down deep. And then we follow this sewer in both directions. It wraps around in this curved shape. So above us is the rich district. For example, if I was just to tunnel up like that, eventually you would reach the rich houses, right in the middle of that rich house. If you pooped right there, your poop would flow into this water and it would keep on going until it gets to this junction right here. And then you take this turn and all your poop would flow down, see, down into this. And this one is on the, well, it's the business district. And this one flows along in this direction. Imagine all the poop. That, that could be, <laughs> that could be your poop. And then it comes along to here. It's a big poop journey. All the way around to here. Ah, some blocks to fix in this tunnel for sure. Some of the old uh, colors there need to be changed. Got some pinks and magentas. In, I thought we'd actually fix them. Anyway, here's some more poop, more poop, and then eventually it gets to this tunnel here. Same in that direction as well, and eventually, eventually, you have poop freedom! It's going to be down here. Um, so that's going to be maybe some farms or something, which can use all the water, and it can use all the poop for fertilization <laughs> as well. Let's have a look at the trees by Ertz. Love these. Isn't that fantastic? Beautiful pond. Underwater all done as well. I think there's some kelp in here as well. We've got sea pickles. I love it. Absolutely fantastic trees. Well done. All hand built. And we've got some more lakes to do as well. So Ertz will probably do them. You can do them off camera, buddy, anytime you like. So over here is the start of our rich area. Isn't that awesome? I do want to plan out the palace and the castle areas quite soon. But I thought we'd get the rich area done, but probably the business area done as well. So have a look here. This is our simple design for a very rich looking house. Got this beautiful mangrove slab, which kind of makes it rich, I think, if you're using mangrove slabs. We haven't done much on the inside, but we do have a place for a fireplace. And we do have this tower, which leads up to the second level. And then the tower can lead up to the top. Now, Actually, once I'd built this and got off Minecraft, I was thinking, well, why don't we make a little door so you could actually go probably from this tower and climb down onto here. Would that be a good idea? I'm not sure. Does that make it badly defensive? I don't know. Well, I'll be building uh, live in about 25 minutes from now, which makes no sense to you guys because you're watching this at all different times. But what I mean is around about 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., I will be live on Twitch, twitch.tv 
forward slash Andy Zoda pretty much every day building the city. I would love you guys to come along and watch on Twitch and throw me some support by chatting in the comments and letting me, letting me know what your ideas are for the city. Over here, we might be doing another kind of circular section sticking out here. I'm not sure yet. I just feel this bit, this corner doesn't really work very well. Same on the other corner. I think that would be a great idea. If you'd like to download this, become a YouTube channel member and channel members get to download everything we've been building over the last few years and all my upgrade maps as well and schematics. And if you don't like uh, going through Google with YouTube channel membership, you can become a patron, patreon.com forward slash Andy Azura. Right, I'm going to uh, get this map ready for my Patreons and YouTube channel members. You can download it as it stands right now. Thank you so much for watching episode two of Sir Krenis City. I will maybe see you on Twitch building it live or I'll see you in episode three. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, come on. Episode three coming up very soon indeed. Shout out and thank you to the builders, Sarasvin, Kajeksi. Kajeksi, get your head on there, dude. Kurta HD, Aaron, Ertz, and Darksaber. Thank you so much. Darksaber is working on a sneaky secret project. I can feel it somewhere in the mountains. We'll have to figure out where at some point. Aww. Gotta hit that subscribe button. Tap the notification bell so you know exactly when the episode is coming out. Every few days, hopefully. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. With the blocks, be with you. Okay. Remember, if you'd like to download all my kingdoms, there's about eight or nine of them so far, and all the upgrade maps to show all the five, seven, or 13 upgrades we've been making over the last few years, and if you'd like to download schematics and build with me in live streams, become a YouTube channel member or one of my Patreons on patreon.com forward slash Andy Isiora, and you could help to support my channel, and really, you enable me to make these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.